Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with the Car. Have you been putting the intro in? I forget. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this yeah. is why we're not good at having intros. Well, if I do it on the computer, it makes yeah. sense to me. So here's the, um, this is our intro. Welcome to Coffee with the Crockers. This is not the uh, Crockers. Yeah. This is the Crockers, but we not, are the Crockers, but yeah. this is coffee the crockers but we don't have coffee so this is not the building channel it's even, a talking one even though we've only been talking on the building channel so it's if you made it this far in this video <laughs> uh so we just walked around the property um which is crazy to me we only walk around maybe like a sixth of the property mm -hmm. we only walk in a small section and i feel like we just walked the whole property yeah we don't even touch most of it it is definitely different living as opposed to like on shoot dang ranch oh where you were all over the place yeah and... we were all over the property every single day yeah we're at least the 30 acres the front 30 the back yeah. 30 was if more of we're playing playing or if you needed to go dig get dirt or yeah. whatever but you were at least all over the 30 acres and then we now like all over two maybe <laughs> yeah. um but uh we walked the whole thing and we came up with game plans you guys know uh, we talked about it before electric companies coming out we have to move the camper we have to move all the stuff we have to kind of start over uh we have to build uh, a barn get fencing we need to build uh, a shop uh, to put all our tools you guys saw in the crocker life that or maybe you'll see it later that uh um, our other structure has n not done well. Uh, we have to really, we got a lot going on, I guess. And so we walked around and we try to come up with game plan, what we want. Um, Danielle will be gone again. This is the month of work for her training. Yeah. So we're coming up with game plan. So I was like, all right, let's just get on the same page with everything. And whether you're here or not, I can just work on whatever and uh i just know this is what we're doing mm -hmm. i can just go Which, for it i appreciate that you just want to like before you start doing something make sure we're on the same page about things yeah okay. sometimes i do sometimes i don't you guys will see in future videos what i'm talking about what danielle was a little upset with me the other day oh because i did something she didn't know <laughs> <laughs> after i said no but that she was didn't say no <laughs> that's not what she said if I you said don't, not right now. If you don't say no, yeah. if you say not right now, well, I did it later, so it wasn't. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> anyways, uh, low uh, uh, We are planning all that stuff. We're trying to get it situated. Uh, again, unfortunately, it's going to rain uh, after we had this cold snap. We're getting a couple days of decent weather. Even walking around right now, I think I couldn't tell you what temp it is now, but it's in the thirties. You got on your... 38. 38, and the ground's still frozen. Yeah. Uh, even so much, like the mulch from uh, Outlaw coming out, all the mulch on the ground. Normally, you walk, it's kind of spongy. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Yeah. Um, so... It definitely, it feels like walking on concrete. Yeah, so there's no digging. There's, there's, there's no, uh, no real work like that right now. It still needs to thaw out a little bit more. Uh, but we do need to... Uh, dig holes for uh, fence corners. We need to level up ground where the barn and shop's going to go. Uh, we need to uh, figure out we got to do some work uh, back over here where the camper's going to go, where the new dog pen's going to go. Uh, we got to cut a bunch of brush and brush. trees and move yeah. trees that are downed and uh, all sorts of stuff that um, it's it's got to get done fairly quick. Uh, I told Danielle, I said, right now, while I have the uh, energy from not working uh over this cold snap i'm gonna try to knock out as much as i can and uh get it all done up before it starts to you know get to you no matter who you are you do enough work it starts to get to you mm -hmm. lucy no and uh i don't know it, it just it feels good to be back on that path of okay we can get something done uh, let's try to get some stuff accomplished while the weather is cooperating yeah. Just elaborating. <laughs> She's just the miselaborator. Well, 
You say it perfectly. I, you know. I didn't say that. She said that. That I said it perfectly. Yeah. He's so just... full. Of... No, she's full of me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we um really trying to get the stuff. I didn't. I didn't think about it until uh, so yesterday, the day before whatever the day that was. I called the electric, made sure everything was set up. Well, our front entrance the cattle guard wasn't set up and it needs to be leveled out and all that. Well, I got it leveled and need to do more dirt work because uh, it's unlevel. Uh, all the ground's crazy there. And I was like, oh crap, we come in through where the fence isn't finished yet. These big trucks coming in to do the tel or the electric pole, yeah. they gotta have, they gotta come in. So I gotta get all that done up. And right now with it being so nasty and, and the ground's frozen and stuff, it's hard to do the dirt work and uh, we got to knock that out pretty fast because I do not want electric to be stalled because of us. Yeah. I want it to be postponed because of them and the weather, not us, not them not being able to come through. I will yeah. cut a freaking fence post down if I have to, though. But I would just choose not to. Yeah. Um, so I got to get that done. And uh, I don't know. I, luckily, and you said this too, um, whenever I was working on it, you're like, it's a good... Um, way to get broken back into the work is tractor work. Yeah, we're getting it going again and stuff, but it's not like killing your body day yeah. one. It's You're let the tractor do it. Yeah, and again, we talked about it. Tractor, it's working. It yeah. ain't working a hundred percent at a hundred percent. Well, it's it's nice you can like throw in headphones, listen to music. Oh, and that's just, my favorite. And just kind of go. Yeah, normally can't really do that. Um, just like a. You know, for building certain things, especially if we're both together, that's what sucks. Normally, if we hang out, um, I guess it's been a while since we've done this, but back when we would both be at the house in town, mm -hmm. and there if we're cleaning or whatever, oh, you, you just blast it. crank the music or whatever. Well, now, uh, if we're out here, you can't really blast the music because you're filming. You can't have that music in the videos and stuff. So I'll, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I just throw headphones in when I can, but sometimes I, it's like... I can't because I need to do certain things. And Fun fact is the first thing I ever bought Jason was mm -hmm. a speaker. Yeah. For, for yourself. But I bought it for you. Yeah. So at the original off-grid property, I was when we were out there, I was like, man, you have no way to like blast music out here mm -hmm. or anything. But then I real so I got it. But then I realized, too, you can't really blast music while you're filming. Yeah, no. Yeah, so. But we ended up using it in the side-by-side -side and all that yeah. stuff. But, um yeah, it, it, it sucks. That's the part of YouTube that isn't fun. I don't want to do uh, these videos and constantly put music over it and just fast forward do time lapse. And then you it's have not my a style. chance of that music being flagged for yeah. the copyright. Which yeah, is... it's been happening. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, so, I don't know. We're just getting things done. We're getting things situated. Uh, we know... We appreciate everybody that has stuck around through this winter. We might be shaking a little bit. May look like it might be stabilized in there. Um, the little table it's on is it's not level, and so the no, wind's blowing it. Yeah, it's steady. Uh, we appreciate you guys sticking around during the cold snap with us through the little videos of no work, just talking, messing around, stuff like that. And uh, um, we are getting back to the build. We are getting back to the game plan. Bandit. Uh, oh, she listened. Oh, she good. Come here. Okay. Bandit's real good. She's good probably girl. the best dog we have. Um, the most well-rounded dog. Yeah. Now, she'll roll in dead animals and come up and stink. She'll be just, she's a white dog, but she'll be black when she's done rolling in it. Yeah. Um, but uh, we appreciate you guys sticking around through it all, and we're ready to work. We're ready to get stuff done. Uh, I, I told Danielle that I, I guess I just didn't realize it. I was pretty stressed through everything, which I mean, I realized that. But the moment I called and they said, yeah, we'll send someone out there for power. And they came out and said, yeah, you can get power. I felt like the world was lifted off my shoulders of stress, um, even though it didn't change anything else. Just having that, it felt like there was hope. It felt it was crazy. Like it just yeah. instantly changed my whole mindset because. Yes, there is stress with getting everything else done. We're trying to get Lambo back. We're trying to do the fence. We're trying to do the barn. We're trying to get these animals done. We're trying to get everything, all this stuff done. 
just having that glimpse of like comfort of not having to run a generator. Will we even be able to work today or if the generator is not working? Um, you know, how much gas are we spending? All stuff yeah. to get rid of that just lifted so much off my shoulders that it just felt like I can tackle this other stuff. And uh, it's see a light. Oh, no, just to have that glimpse of hope. Of, it's getting better it made the world of a difference and it like i feel like it like perked me back up where i needed to be yeah. and uh i'm i'm excited i'm i'm really excited and uh kind of working behind the scenes i know it's been a minute but we haven't done the podcast in a long time i was messing with that and um setting up like a little office area in the studio um i want to you know we haven't done like the youtube class um i've i've kind of i've kind of learned i don't well, I enjoyed the classes that we did, but I don't think that's the style I want it to be and stay. Um, it was something I've never done, and I got to do it, and it was great, and it was fun, and, and I appreciate the people that came out. Um, but uh, I, I think I want to change it a little bit and um, change the concept of it. And to be able to help a lot of y'all were uh, um, saying, I would really like if there's an online class or you know stuff like that, um, I want to I want to be able to do that and working on some of that behind the scenes uh, working on having the uh, I'll call it the game room uh, our game room in there where it, at the end of the day if we go back and we shower and we want to eat we have to either lay on the bed um, or just sit in those uncomfortable chairs that we yeah. have there's no couch there's no recliners there's no nothing and um, the, it's, it's I don't know. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's just to be able to have these little comforts yes. that we haven't had. It makes a world of a difference. Yeah. And that's what we want is, um, that's the whole point of having the studio is we, we weren't looking for one that had a kitchen or a bathroom or anything like that. It so happened. We saw it and it was kind of like, yeah, we were like, oh, the okay, opportunities. <laughs> this literally popped up. We weren't even looking at this. Um, we had this opportunity to to have a kitchen and a bathroom and be comfortable. We would be silly not to utilize it, and we don't feel bad at all for utilizing it. Yeah. Um, especially right now when it was super cold. Once the animals are good and they're set up, what am I going to do? Sit in the camper when Danielle's uh, at work? Yeah. What am I going to do? Sit in the camper and just run a generator all day to stay warm? No, yeah. the, the animals aren't going to come out. So I'm yeah. gonna go to the studio, and, and I'm gonna they're warm in their little house. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some work done. I'm gonna go take a hot shower. I'm gonna throw something in a microwave, and yeah. uh, you know, cook or whatever. Get a slice of comfort. Yeah, and because of that, um, you know, and getting power here right before this, Danielle and I were talking. You know, we can get the barn done, get this done, and all that. And whenever we work on this, even if it takes longer, oh well, we're still comfortable. We're we're a hundred times more comfortable here than we've ever been um <laughs> and that should say everything mm -hmm. and so to have that again we would be silly not to utilize it yeah. and because of that and b because of getting power out here and all that we're getting those little things of comfort that makes it easier for us on the day-to-day -to, -day to have a better attitude to have a better mindset working yeah. to know at the end of the day this is how it was you work all day First, you wake up, and then just to get coffee and breakfast and all that stuff, and then do all that. You're already working. Uh, get a fire going to warm up outside, like all this stuff. Um, it's cold. You got to go outside and get the generator running or fill up with gas in the middle of the night or whatever. You are already working just to live. Yeah. And then you work, and then at the end of the day, you want to relax. Well, you can't. And so to have those comforts at the end of the day, it's nice. it is unreal. I actually saw a post that Rachel from... Brazos Valley. I know exactly what it is. Posted it's like for those who's thinking about living off grid and like building off grid and doing all that stuff, it's not glamorous. This is a thousand times harder. It's so much harder, and I think a big part of the problem is too, like on YouTube, people don't necessarily they just show the glamour side of it. Yeah, which I, I don't know the glamour side. There of is it. no glamour. <laughs> but I mean, again, we're not complaining. This is it's the reality. It's just talk about the reality so too if you are thinking yeah about it doing like this it's it's so much different than what you could possibly think yeah it just if you 
to like go work on your home or a project or your homestead, whatever. Just the difference of being able to go inside and have your comfort. Yeah. Versus. Imagine <laughs> camping every day. Uh huh. And working on top of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which, I mean, looking back, it definitely adds to our story, and I'm glad oh, we're doing yeah. it. And it's just, it's a whole different adventure. But we ain't trying to live that lifestyle every every day yeah. for the rest of our life. And we are, I'm very glad that, you know. We could say we did it. We did it, and that chapter is closing. Yeah. <laughs> we're um, getting to the end of it, and it's, I know it does lift up. A lot of stress yeah one of the comments on um brazos valley rachel's post that she made said me and my husband were thinking about living off grid until we met a couple and they told us how it really was and we decided it was too much for us mm -hmm. um i almost commented and i swear i started typing and i deleted it rachel can you please do a video and say this video is for the crockers and post it on youtube and let everybody know that uh this is the reality of it. Most people, you know, they do see it. And, and I would, if I was 100% single and I don't think I'd do it with farm animals and stuff, but. That's what really yeah. adds. Like having the animals while off grid really. That's so much extra stress. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> if I was 100% single and didn't want to be in a relationship and, you know, all that. Um, I, I could see myself living fully off grid in a small cabin and just doing that every day because that's what you spend your time doing. I did it for a long time yeah. and I was okay with it. But then when you get in a relationship and you want to have the comforts and I don't want, like I could suffer through it and she could suffer through it. I don't want to see her suffer through it. Yeah. I love you. You know, some people may say I don't. But I love you. <laughs> um, but it's like I could do it and I would do it. It's just the lifestyle that I want is not that. Um, and I guess same thing for me. Yeah. It's I like, could do it and I can do it. And, and I have and you done, have done it. I don't necessarily don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing is when. And I'm not. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's the thing is, again. If I was single and didn't want to be in a relationship, I could do that. Um, do I resent being with Danielle? Sometimes. I was going to no, say, maybe kidding. not for that reason, no. but there might be. A there's reasons, <laughs> but uh, no, there's, it's, it's one of those things that she didn't change my plans. She didn't change what I wanted. It's just being in a relationship change is everybody's life. Yeah. Uh, you weren't living this lifestyle before I came along, <laughs> but you, you learn yeah. to like different things and you learn to like what the other person likes and you start, even if it's not vocally or whatever, you start to compromise on life when you're with someone. You, you learn to like this, you learn to take away this. You learn to like this, you take away this. Whether yeah. you're talking about it or not, it happens. And um, it went from like, I love living off grid by myself. I do what I want. Um, I I have my own schedule. I all I think is off grid and YouTube, and I am very very thankful. That's what my life was because it it made YouTube what it is. But I couldn't do that every day for the rest of my life, and I wouldn't want to do that every day for the rest of my life. And because you came along and we kind of intertwined our lives, it showed okay, not every moment has to be YouTube. Not every moment has to be living the lifestyle. Like, let's have fun. Let's do this. Let's do yeah, this. I definitely broke you out of things. It's like, I don't know. The full-time YouTube thought process? or Yeah. Like, just my, like of your own. I don't know. She changed me. Well, it's just more so it's like, guess what? We're going here. We're doing this. Remember how pissed people were? Because we'd go on like vacation. Oh, uh, like, like viewers? Yeah. yeah. yeah man, y'all be mad. Yeah. Some of y'all would be. So but, I guess those people probably aren't here no more. True. Um, but um, yeah, it went from, I don't know. It, it changes your life. It, it just, it's not, it's not a bad thing. Um, it's just life changes. And we've even talked about this, like each part of our life and we've only been together for so long but we already have certain chapters and 
I personally think if you're still living the same chapter you did over and over and over, in my eyes, that's not good. Yeah. I can't personally do that. That's not how that's not how we work. Well it's yeah, that just means too you're not growing. Yeah. You're not doing different things. You're you yourself singularly yeah. aren't adapting with life. Yeah, and some people more power to you if that's the life you want yeah. to live. I'm not saying if you've done the same thing over and over, you're a bad person, yeah. you're not living life correct. That's just I not just, how we see life. Yeah, and then too, we are, even though we're getting older, we are still young where we are growing, learning. Yeah. That whole, yeah. That whole thing about life. I think everybody does. Yeah, um, no matter how old you're getting. Yeah. Uh, it's, there's always something to learn. And, and it, I think the biggest thing with people and this is just my opinion, is people feel like they have to do what everyone tells them to do. And there is this unwritten, written book of how you live life. Yeah. And it's, you go to high school, you go to college. If you go to I college, know. yeah, if you go to college, you get your, your dream job, which most of the time it's not your dream job. It's just whatever you went to school for. You get your house, you start your family, you do this, and then you repeat it with those kids, and they do the same thing. Or you don't go to college, you get a job, you start working, you, you do get these the things. House. Yeah, you, you get the job, you get the house. Once you get the house, you can't quit the job because that job pays for the house. You can't yeah. you can't sell the house because you know the money to do this. You you have these like certain paths that life gives you or you learn from it and if you're not happy, you figure it out and you change it. And there was a thing, it was like a little thing that popped up. I don't know what it was on, I can't remember. It said um, uh, this lady was living in the woods chopping chopping wood for her fire and this guy um came along just like business guy and was just like it's pretty wild that you uh you spend all this time chopping wood just to get a fire going just so you can stay warm and she said it's wild to me that you work 40 hours a week every week just to pay for your electric bill so you could stay warm. It's how you look at life. Yeah. Some people think living the hard life is dumb. Some people think living the corporate life or the cookie whatever. cutter life, whatever you want. I don't know how to, what you want to call it. It's crazy. It's just crazy to the people that don't understand it. And some people can work the same job their entire life, live in the same town their entire life, do all this stuff. But if they're happy, then cool. But if they're not, but they still do it, what are you doing? Um, and my thought process is if you're not happy, don't stay in that spot, try to fix it. And if you can't, if, if fix, if you're, you're trying to fix it and it just won't get fixed, try something else. And, uh, I don't believe in staying in something that you're not happy in. And that was like the whole thing with like you nursing. Um, you're like, I'm just not happy anymore. I said, then don't do it. Mm -hmm. Um, go for something that you enjoy. And, um, and then what I'm doing now I absolutely am enjoying it. Yeah. Because it's just away from that bedside. I get a break from it. There's these awful cases that come through. Yeah. And I'm not the one at the bedside. Yeah. There working it. And I'm on the outside of it. And, and it's it's new. It's fresh. Yeah. It's exciting. But the big thing is I'm just not immersed in the awfulness of the world, I guess. That well, happens. <laughs> when you're in the hospital and you work in what you did, you see the worst of the worst. Yeah, that's you don't what I get mean. to see the little. It's not awful. It's nothing like that. Yes, it is. But oh. she's not saying working in a hospital is an oh, awful no. place. I just mean, like, I'm just interpreting what some people might take yeah, it as. You're right. It's you're right. she sees the worst. It's like being a cop. Yeah. Uh, you don't get to just pull people over. You see the bad things also. You see the worst of the worst. Um, you know anything like that? Any any job that's out there you see the worst of the worst um yeah. but yes it is fun and it's exciting it's new but if she say she does this job for the next 10 years and in 10 years she's like i just don't enjoy it anymore well why stick around i don't see the point in sticking around if you're not loving what you do yeah. um i'm real big on what we talked about this today i forgot you oh i was pooping for the fifth time today and it was I'm just in there brushing my teeth while you're pooping. Yeah. Anyway, she said, I don't think you're good. And I said, I'm fine. And she said, well, what if you die tomorrow? I said, then I live today. You know? But that's the, not poop talk, but it's, <laughs> what if? 
what if you knew you only had a year left? What if you knew you only had 10 years left mm -hmm. or whatever? You would live life way different. You wouldn't waste your time on something you didn't enjoy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, you, like, you just never know. You don't. Like. We could be gonna, gone tomorrow. Yeah. Or just, you know, again, you got stomach problems. Next thing you know, could be cancer or it's, whatever. But it's not. It's not. <laughs> I just mean, like, you just never know what's no. going to happen. So be happy today and go after what you want. And I've been miserable long enough for a long time. Um, and I've learned in life, it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not worth being miserable. And, and if you have miserable people in your life, get rid of them. Uh, if you have a miserable job and you truly hate your job, why are you doing it? Well, I got bills to pay. I can't leave. Yes, you can. You just have to learn what you're going to sacrifice. Maybe not have the brand new car. Maybe not have internet and uh, uh, cable TV and everything else. Maybe not eat out every day. Um, everything, I don't, I would rather sacrifice everything else than my happiness. And um, I think once you figure that out in life, you can learn that uh, life isn't that bad. And it's literally how you make it. And, mm -hmm. and especially when you're getting power. That's a big thing. And uh, we, weren't happy at the other place we weren't um getting what we wanted and it broke our hearts to leave um but mm -hmm. i feel like we're the happiest we've been in a long time and and that's without ramping well we went ramping at paragons we got a little fix yeah. <laughs> uh but we had to downsize our life um we we got smaller property we have um you know i guess technically not we have less animals here <laughs> thanks to dunos um uh, but and goats true um but it's like sacrifice the things to get where you want to be and i just don't believe in living an unhappy life for absolutely no reason other than to survive because what are you surviving for if you're not happy and our our big goal is to get everything set up here and be good to where if we want to go on a vacation we'll go on a vacation if we want to you know whatever um i want I, I that's what i want i want the freedom of living life and not being stuck to a job or being stuck to a a certain thing it's let's just live life for the things that we want and uh to each their own but i'm here to live a good life because you may not be here tomorrow and i may not be here tomorrow mm -hmm. so just live life and and enjoy it and go after what you want um yolo you know yolo uh <laughs> but do it responsibly don't be like i hate my job i'm quitting get a job get it figure out another job first you know or have a, a plan mm -hmm. you know um it, it's I know some people are saying it's just not that easy. It's not, but it doesn't Nothing happen good over. Nothing in life is easy. No, you got to work for it. That's a good one, baby. Um, <laughs> uh, you you got to think ahead. You got to make certain sacrifices and certain plans to get where you want to be. And then also the biggest number one thing I have learned is the number one rule. That too. Just keep it to yourself. And don't tell people until you've done it because they will talk trash and talk trash and talk trash. If we talk about everything we want to do, which we do talk about stuff here, but there's other things that we don't even talk about. If we were to put them out there, all we would get is anybody that wants to bring you down talking trash trying to bring you down. Um, whether it's in your personal life or on the internet or social media or whatever. Yeah. The big plans you have, keep it quiet and it'll happen. And if you put it out there too much, people will try to tear you down and tell you're stupid and it'll get to you enough to where you'll start second guessing yourself. You got that gut instinct for a reason and you know if something's going to work out or not or if you if it's the right plan, whether you know for sure it's going to work out or not because the fear that you have of making it work, you'll make it work. And um, I think that's the whole thing with hopefully we could show you guys what we're doing is um, – you know, we're, there's, we're, we're going after something and we'll hit snags and, and bumps along the way. But uh, we truly try to go after things we want and accomplish them no matter how long it takes. And uh, 
we're yeah. making sacrifices and plans behind the scenes that you guys will never know and uh um, we'll tell you all eventually when it happens, but uh, for now we are doing stuff like that But we're also the things we're telling you guys about so if you want something in life go for it uh, make it's sacrifices like, I don't know like maybe if you want something bad enough you make it happen. Is that what you're trying to say? Not really, but oh, okay. um I don't, I don't know mocking me just like my gloves and guess what, <laughs> what? Sam <laughs> Sam Juno had the same gloves and she was talking about how warm they were yeah she said follow me for farm fashion tips or whatever yeah. that made me giggle I loved it those gloves are really good yeah I noticed that from the beginning I said baby I think those are the same gloves you have. and she even said in there that they were good gloves see they're good gloves yeah. um couldn't tell you what name they are so you can't go get them but they're at tractor supply they're twenty dollars they're rated a3 a3 whatever that means so that's that's the way to go that's how you know yeah they're good for awesome 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 three awesomes arctic times three rated i don't know baby that's like that's like three that's, tops that's like, good yeah for the if the gloves want to be warm enough bad enough they'll make it happen they wanted it bad enough, baby. They made it happen. Yeah. She's starting to make fun of me. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm done. She's starting to get on my nerves. Remember, if you're not happy, you just got to get rid of it. She said it, guys. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. I got to go get rid of this.